Welcome back, Skylines players and fans. Uh, this is Goma with uh, more games. Uh, we are going to work on uh, the middle part of the island today. Uh, we're finishing that off. Uh, what would be uh, this would be north over here, south, west. So we're going to finish off um, uh, this little section right here, and then we are going to move to the other side of the avenue and uh, do this little section here today. Um, Last video we put in this hotel and uh, since did a little bit of detailing there, uh, put some uh, uh, benches in, trash cans in, some trees. Uh, not really heavily detailed, but um, detailed uh, enough. Uh, I think uh, it doesn't really need to be that detailed, but it's kind of, uh, you reach a point where uh, too much is uh, kind of counterproductive, so I think just kind of leaving it nice and simple because uh, there really isn't any cafes on the roof or anything like some of the other buildings. Uh, so we're going to fill in this right here, and traditionally, uh, the majority of my building or the majority of the uh, videos, I would kind of just wing it, kind of have an idea what I was going to do, but I would just kind of without really mapping it out too much, maybe mapping it out in my head and stuff, but not really. Uh, doing it in-game. Uh, this time I actually did, so I pretty much know what I want to do um, here um, and what buildings to use, uh, because I wasn't sure what was going to fit in here, what was going to look right. Uh, so uh, first thing I am going to do is I want to get rid of this stop line here, because um, it's kind of bugging me. Uh, Let's see here. We oh, maybe it's on this node. Yeah, this line here. Uh, the reason why I was doing that is I got to looking at this, um, and uh, that just doesn't really make any sense that there'd be a stop. There'd be a stop here. Here, this would be uh, have right away traffic uh, just because there's not enough room there that would cause a mess. So, um, in game, obviously, we'd, we'd make this uh, have the right away, we'd use uh, traffic manager and uh, do that. But again, we're kind of painting this, so I'm not really worried about the functionality of it. Uh, we turn the game on. Change that, but let's get uh, get started here. We've kind of babbled on enough here, so uh, we'll get going. I'm going to use the uh, wall to wall uh, commercial buildings, and I think uh, let me, uh, get that to click on there. It takes a minute. There we go. And uh, we're going to use these uh, larger style here. I'm trying to decide. I think we're going to use this one. And then use uh, maybe this one here. And uh, I think we're going to use another one. Right like that. Um, and then let's go ahead and uh, see if we can move this right like that. So that matches up. I think that looks good there. Actually, we need to. We need to move this one over out of those parking stalls. Then we'll move this one to uh, on that roof there. First time I did this, I left the uh, left this cafe here kind of covered up, um, which I'm not sure how real that would be. Um, the cafe there with uh, the windows right there. Um, yeah, I think we're going to leave it like that. 
because that's kind of so to have these uh, what would be probably offices or something like that looking right out at a cafe I don't know how I don't know I'm not sure how that would really go over and then uh, we'll put that in there uh, just like that I think that looks uh, I think that looks pretty good like that and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab another uh, another style here maybe let's see here nah, I don't want to use those they can maybe these here um, and mouse didn't click on it there we go yeah I'm thinking maybe these here Put that one there. Maybe that one there. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I like that. And then uh, we'll grab, uh, of course, we need some parking. So we'll go ahead and grab one of the plain roads uh, here. And I'm trying to decide, I think we'll just go down this way. Um, And then uh, go ahead and grab one of the uh, parking uh, lots from uh, park area here. I think we're going to use this one. I think this is going to be plenty large enough. Actually, let's do this. Let's run. down this way and then use the parking lot facing this direction yeah I kind of like that a lot better actually um, like that. Pull this back a little bit. It's not that. And then obviously we want to take working off here. And then actually the uh, yeah the drive road should be fine in, the, in these uh, these roads do extend a little bit under the buildings but uh, that's mainly the parking parking lane so I think we're good uh, I think we're good on that so we're gonna go ahead and leave that like that go ahead and uh, fill this concrete in. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and I want to go ahead and do this. Just like that. Um, and then obviously we'll put some more trees in here. Um, but we'll uh, kind of fill these. 
put some more trees in, uh, like that. So I'll go through and fill all this in. Trees that come like that. So uh, let's come over here. I need to kind of do something with this front of this. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and do um, some parking stalls out front here. So let's grab uh, maybe this size will probably work fine. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can go the one a little bit bigger. Yeah, that works. And notice how it places it all the way back there. Um, that's because there's a lot of concrete in front of this. But you can look to see where the road is. Then you can grab the parking stalls. Pull it all the way up. In front of the road. Just so it's just inside the park, what would be the parking lane? Uh, and then obviously I'm going to pull this back. We'll just leave that like that, and then what I'm thinking is we'll probably not gonna be able to. Do a uh, cultivated or manicured grass right there on that side. So I think we're going to have to use we're going to have to use a uh, yeah because it's going to have to go all the way over there. So what we'll use we'll use this decal. Uh, let's see here. Right here. Where, where are they there? And it's the same exact uh, shade as the uh, manicured. And I've used them before. I typically don't use them because they're kind of finicky and sometimes they fade away at distances and there's a bunch of issues with them but I prefer using the ones you plop, not to mention the ones you plop down are just quite frankly just easier to use because you just plop them down and they're done. Uh, let's see here, let's see if we can get this to cover that. There we go. That works pretty good. So I think that looks uh, really good there. You got a little bit of a walk away there. Um, I think maybe uh, maybe we'll do a couple benches. Again, I don't want to really do too much here. Um, maybe do Do a bench there and a bench there. Uh, got doors right there, so maybe another bench. Maybe another couple benches over here. Just to give it a little bit of a little bit of uh, spark to it. I don't understand all these props that don't have most uh, buildings that you go into and out of, there are trash cans uh, next to the building, and for some reason they're missing in a lot of these assets. Uh, maybe people want to throw away their, their soda can, uh, people want to, you know, there's, there's, there's typically trash cans all over the place, and for some reason. They just don't place them. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I think I don't think we really need to do anything else. Uh, I do probably need to put in uh, a couple handy. 
handicap uh, accessible uh, handicap accessible areas. Uh, no, really don't like the blue um, in this particular area just because I got blue on that hotel uh, over there. So I'm just gonna use blue. And there we go. And I don't really do the math or anything like that. I think in the United States it's like three percent stalls or something like that. But So we'll just put a few in just to uh, give a little bit of uh, accessibility to handicap uh, parking there. Um, go ahead and fill this in. And then I don't know if we really need anything else right here. Uh, there's benches there, there's flowers. I mean, I guess in all reality, we could probably do go back to the trash can, maybe put a couple trash cans in there. But other than that, uh, I don't see where the doors are on these things. I guess they're tucked underneath the building. Oh, there's even trash cans on these. Okay, there's even trash cans on these. So, yeah, that's what those blue things are, I think. So, why don't we do those? Um, I didn't miss those over here, did I? No, I don't see them. Yeah, I don't see them on there. Okay, so we're going to leave that like that. So I think that looks uh, pretty good. That just fills in that area, um, completes it a little bit, makes it um, kind of run right into this uh, uh, floodplain area, uh, kind of make it uh, makes it look more uh, completed, like it's not uh, hanging out there. Uh, just looking to see uh, different angles. Uh, when you're building things, plopping things, you want to look at it from different angles, different altitudes. Because sometimes uh, the game will place things and you'll have something hanging up in the air and 100 meters in the air, 100 feet in the air, and it's like, what is that trash can floating in the air? Because sometimes the game just uh, misinterprets what you're trying to do and it, it uh, places it weird. Or sometimes you find a tree penetrating this building that you have to move, um, just like that. Uh, okay, so, all right, so we're going to move on to the next building here. Um, we're going to fill in this area right here uh, in preparation for this larger area. So what we're going to do, I need to build um, another access road. Go ahead and place that. Want to do? Uh, probably right here. Yeah. Probably go right here. Um, it'll be tricky to get it in there. I just need these two. There. Uh, Right about here, I think. Yeah, that's probably a good uh, distance. And then we're going to go ahead and connect these at an angle. Uh, you'll see why I did that note there. Uh, but I, I needed this uh, parallel to this road and parallel to this road. Uh, but I. Uh, so I, but I needed it closer than this gap here, so I went ahead and, and did that type of thing. You see that in real life, too, so you see that type of stuff. Uh, where roads, the spacing and everything isn't uh, always uh, perfect, so they have to connect. Let's see if we can get this correct here. 
to here. Cut over. Yeah, just like that. And that's perfect. Or at least close to perfect. Now we're back over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in put in these walkways last time, and it's like, uh, where do they go? Um, because there's nowhere to go in here. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to create a, uh, a pedestrian crossing. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to put it nodes here and here. Um, I think we're going to put it right here. That might be a little bit close to that other node. Um, and if you were doing if you're doing an actual playing game instead of just painting the city, you might run into trouble doing it this way. Um, which I think that's what that error was. Um, but by play, placing that in there, you may have to move this node or maybe you may have to move it down to the center or something like that to get it away from this node and uh, this node over here. But we're going to leave it like that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and while we're at it, uh, we're going to go ahead and place another one right here. And then I'm thinking, um, actually, what we can do is here. We can go ahead and use the third yeah. Go ahead and use this crossing right here. All right, so that makes a little bit more sense. Um, they would come across here, and then they could either cross back and then cross over, or they could walk down here and cross over here. And then cross over this way. Although I hate that, uh, hate that crosswalk. Uh, let's see. That's not what I want to do. I want to use no controller. Go in, erase, and uh, scrapes up a little bit while we're in here. And then go back to uh, intersection marking tool. Hold the shift key down, click on this, and build a nice crisp line there. It looks a lot better than what it did. And uh, I think that looks uh, pretty good there. And then uh, we are going to go ahead and in uh, Traffic Manager, go into uh, Toggle Traffic Light. You can click on this and you can put the traffic light on and off. So now, uh, when the traffic comes in here, now they've got traffic lights. Uh, so uh, the pedestrians can hit the, hit the little button on the side of the traffic light and uh, turn the light red. Uh, let's see here. And what I want to do here, I want to go ahead and create... There, that, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, pick the point and then hold the shift key down, and that creates a solid line. So I'll create that solid white line there. So that would be the, we call them courtesy lines. I'm not sure if that's the proper name for them, uh, but they're basically lines that uh, the cars or their front bumper is not supposed to, are not supposed to cross the line while they're waiting for the light. Uh, there. Um, so that keeps them out of out of the pedestrian walkway, out of the intersection, whatever the case may be. Uh, all right. So we'll fill that in with concrete. Fill that in with concrete, and then we'll fill all this in with concrete. Uh, eventually here. All right, so now we get that little tradition pedestrian conundrum fixed. Um, so now let's go ahead and place this building. 
uh, kind of toyed around. Again, uh, I did some uh, uh, basically, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, some uh, modeling or some uh, uh, testing uh, to see what would fit in here the best. And I had a couple different approaches, and I think so. A couple of them looked really good. Um, but what I ended up going with is this building here. And to be honest, I'm not sure what it's called. Um, it's a unique building. Uh, it's in, uh, I think that's uh, Japanese or uh, Chinese, or Mandarin, excuse me, Japanese or Mandarin. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to place that right here. And then we are going to pull this back to right here. But we don't want the building to be kind of interfering. Yeah, we want a little bit of a gap there. It doesn't have to be uh, huge because we're not going to have anything there. But there needs to be a little bit of a, a gap there. And then we don't obviously we want a little bit of a sidewalk right here. Um, another reason for this node is uh, we're going to put a road right here uh, to go under the pool. So we're going to grab one of the, uh, I think this uh, network extension, uh, two lane alley. We're just going to pull it over. Make sure that it's close to uh, 90 degree as possible. Now uh, the angle is a little bit off because that one piece is slanted. Um, but I think that's about as close to 90 degrees as possible. And then uh, what I'm going to do now is I want to make sure that ooh, the hotel is interfering with my camera here. Uh, I want to make sure that this road is centered in this arch. Right here, so we're going to grab this, just pull this over, and that's just for aesthetics. That's the only reason why. I think that looks pretty good. We're pretty close. And you can't really see the edge on this side, but just want to make sure everything uh, looks good on this this area here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to put another road in, um, go ahead and use the two-lane alley, uh, if you're playing a game, I would use, like, the dirt road, because it's the cheapest, because uh, this is just mainly just a guide road, uh, just want a road, uh, I'm going to go that far up. Um, maybe we'll go that far up and we might have to do it a little bit. Obviously, we don't want to connect into that node. We want to connect there. That's too terrible, bad. Go ahead and connect it or run it. Over there. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Actually, we'll go ahead and leave it like that because I think it'll do what I need it to do. And then uh, erase this one. Um, and then we're going to go back in and we're going to put a lot in here. Um, question is, is what lot are we going to use? We're going to use that same one maybe? That's pretty good size. That's even shorter, so I guess we'll probably use this one.
And then what I was thinking is, I was thinking that I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some manicured grass right here. And then maybe some right there. We'll fix this here in a minute, but I think I'm maybe pull this thing to where it looks like it's at least reasonable spaces in there. Uh, that seems like the, you know that's a reasonable. It's almost two parking stalls there, which would be enough for two cars to get by. But even though there would almost never be two cars in there at the same time, but possibly. Um, and then, okay, so I'll probably drag this down to here, grab the center out here, drag it down. Maybe we'll leave that straight, and let's see. What nodes we can get on this side? Not nodes, excuse me. Uh, uh, zoning tiles. Uh, we could get on this side to yeah, place place some grass. Yeah, I think that works. Because this would be a heavily concreted area, but you still want some, some patches of grass to kind of break it up a little bit. Uh, it's not going to be all concrete. Uh, I'm not even sure how realistic this would be to have this entire area right here concrete. Um, I may go in and do some uh, detailing work around there. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then we could put a, uh, I don't think, obviously there's not going to be a door there, but there's not a door anywhere on here, on this side. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to go in and put a door in there. Um, we're going to use one of these smaller doors. Not that it would probably get used too much, um, because of where it's at, they would probably come out of this little walkway here. Um, but I guess we could put one in here. Um, it's hard to see because we're in a shadow. There it is, okay. Put one over here, even though. Yeah, that makes that makes a little bit of sense there. And uh, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and grab a boulder. So we'll just get rid of that for I don't know, no particular reason, mainly because it's not working very well. So. We'll grab uh, the decal again. And again, I'm not a real big fan of these, but they do work in situations like this. Uh, they don't have the same height level. Uh, actually, probably what we'll do, we'll go ahead and let's see if we can do it this way. We'll go ahead and place another 
piece of grass there and then grab it and pull it over until it starts to match on one of these lower back and we'll create a walkway in there. There, that solves the problem. Clipping's not too bad. Yeah, I think that looks, uh, looks pretty good there. And uh, we may do uh, like a curve or something here. Um, the problem with doing a curve right here is if you go into this, you can see it from the top view. I'll show you in just a second. We'll see how uh, how obvious it is. Then obviously we'll plant flowers or something in there. Uh, yeah, I didn't look too bad from that angle. But the problem is when you look up and you look down on it like that, see that curve on the inside there. And really not too bad. I guess if we grab. Just barely. Yeah, I like that. And then obviously we'll put some uh, put some flowers and stuff in there. I don't like how that angle is differently. Maybe we'll do the entire side, this entire side as a curve. Um, these. So not what I wanted to do. that right into place there. Doesn't look too bad with flowers and stuff on it. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap there, but I guess you could have, uh, not to mention I was wanting to look, no, that, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. There's, uh, we still want to eliminate parking in here, I think. Uh, yeah, I think we want to eliminate parking in there. Side. Okay, if I did that over here, I got it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Good deal. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill in the rest of concrete here.
Alright, so what I'm thinking on this side, um, maybe do, uh, do a couple doors. And then obviously, uh, we'll do uh, so trash cans. We were using, yeah, we were using those other ones over there. So let's just use these, just so they're not all the same. Some decorative things through here. So, the thing about these curves, you can do all sorts of things with them. Um, do different shapes, different uh, different sizes. Obviously, you can move it. The update move it. Uh, these are props, so you can change the size. I usually don't do that in the sense uh, because it. Uh, Changes the curb size. Uh, show you what that means. Uh, click on it, and then you hit the uh, greater than or less than sign. Uh, signs right below the key key in the key in the L buttons, um, and it raises and lower, but it increases like when you increase the size, it increases the size of the curb, which could be handy depending on. Uh, the situation it also may but it does make it where it doesn't blend in with everything else so you can't make them uh, uh, you can't use multiple ones at large sizes so you'd have to make this like gigantic oh, I never had that before I guess you do reach a uh, oh I guess you reach a limit to the size of it I did not realize that Maybe it's just on these curves, though. Uh, okay, so we'll do that, and then uh, I'll just put a couple trees in. I'm thinking, uh, actually, I think we're going to go ahead and use these flower trees that we used at the intersection there. So it ties it together. Um, yeah. And then I'm thinking we're going to need some sort of like uh, centerpiece in here or something. Um, so this I have it picked. Um, and I kind of knew I want to use one of these. I just don't know. Which one? Ooh, that might be a little bit too large. It's a little bit too large for that area. That's another fountain, but that's a little bit too large. I use the fountains quite a bit, so I'm trying to kind of steer away from that a little bit. That's way too large. Yeah, these none of these may actually fit. I use that on the intersection, so can't really use that there. This one's way too large. Yeah. I guess we may have to go to the traditional fountain. Um, 
one. Actually, what is this one? Yeah, this works. Place it like right in the middle. And then uh, obviously it's meant to be a roundabout, uh, the center of a roundabout. So you have to pick it and then convert it into a uh, PO. But um, pretty much all these center roundabout um, items will convert. It just eliminates the uh, the bushes, the signs, uh, any of the any flowers or anything like that. It just leaves the object itself. So all all of these um, will do that, and uh, it works quite nicely. Oh, that's another cool one there. Yeah, I don't really like that one. That's a little bit too tall. It's almost as tall as the building. It is tall as the building. So, I don't really like that one. Oh, that works. Uh, I think maybe what we'll do is uh, go ahead and use a curve again over here. This time, I think we're going to use. Couple large circles. And then use those trees again. And then obviously, I'll go through and put some benches and stuff in here and stuff like that. Uh, maybe some additional curbs to kind of uh, line the benches and stuff like that, but uh, that's just a matter of you know, kind of playing with it and seeing what it looks good. Uh, kind of like over here, uh, when I created this, uh, when I created this little park area right here, to play around with it and see what, uh, what looks good with some benches and stuff like that. All right, so. Um, that looks pretty good for now. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add one more feature to this. Um, switch back to roads. Standard road. And then uh, we're going to use a tunnel. Works almost perfectly. Try to get this as straight as possible. Change the tunnel, but I didn't change the uh, yeah. I take this out. Okay. Had to change the tunnel, but I changed the uh, the height on it, so I need to drop it down. We'll drop it down to about 12 meters. Um, 8 to 10 works. Um, I think 10 or 8 is a little bit shallow. 12 may be a little deep, depending on what you're doing. Uh, but uh, 10 is usually a nice, a nice depth for what you're doing, depending on, depending on how you how you how you positioning things um, because in this game you can have the sewer and the water pipes are completely separate from this um, uh, layer I guess that's why to say it so you don't even see this but when you're on a transportation layer uh, the tunnels and the subways all show up so you could have your subways running at like 15 meters and then your road tunnels running at like 10 meters 
so that way they could cross each other and go all over the place and they're not actually touching each other because you can't have subways and you know that just doesn't uh, doesn't work um i had subways running i used to play with them a lot um but i kind of stayed away i kind of stay away from them now just because you can't really see them so there's no eye candy to it so it's just kind of like sometimes i will put them in but like here i had a bunch of them in but i kind of took them out because i was getting in no trouble and i just there wasn't anything to wasn't anything to see so it's kind of like why why have them in there um let's see here i think we're gonna bring this back up we're gonna do this from the surface level kind of a disaster, I knew it would be, but that's what move it's for. <laughs> uh, so the key is, is getting latched on to the notes and everything. So switch it to the window, and switch, to, uh, switch node and segment, so that way you can kind of grab the node and get the building turned off. the segment this all the way in Sure that that wall is not. I really don't like that corner like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and leave that for now. Uh, it doesn't look like this is clipping over too bad. Um, This node's too far over, so that works, but I think we're going to have to arc this even further. I kind of think it's going to be tricky uh, getting in there, getting this curve in there. I kind of figured this, it would be. You don't really need a sidewalk there. Uh, matter of fact, I really don't want a sidewalk there. This would honestly. Yeah, work pretty good. I don't want to replace that road with the white sidewalk roads anyway, so. Yeah. So I think that works. Now, just to figure out uh, what angle to come in at this road. Um, honestly, I think. Place that 
cut road and then put in uh, yeah this one that's the new uh, two lane road with white sidewalks um, by doing that by using that well, I'll show you in a minute uh, creates uh, same size as the bridge and the elevated. That's what I did here. This is the white sidewalk. It's the same size as this elevated piece here. Here's the regular one. But I think that looks just that just looks better being the same size through there. Not to mention this white one doesn't have any parking. So you don't have to worry about turning the parking lot on the entire segment. Uh, this down yeah yeah I think that looks really good and then uh, obviously we want to get rid of the markings there uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the markings here just because I'm wanting to redo them. Uh, let's go ahead and square those off, which they look pretty damn squared. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do redo the markings here. And I would think that there would be markings uh, on all three sides here. Uh, Not going to do a stoplight or anything. This would be a. Uh, I think this would be a stop. Um, yeah, I think this would be a stop here. So kind of want to do a line here. It's, it's kind of not there. Um, yeah. I think that would be kind of important going into a tunnel that you need to designate, uh, you know, which lane is yours. I don't know. I think that would be kind of important. Yeah, I think that looks better. Uh, I might even do a, a little bit wider road here so I can have a, a left turn lane and a right turn lane. Uh, yeah, I think I might do that. And then this mess right here, I need to fix this. Um, Said, so it's fine. So go in the intersection marking tool, that's not the right one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I don't, it doesn't make any sense to have a crossing here when there's just one right here. Well, you know, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Yeah, I think. And then this is a parking area here. This would be like a driving lawn to a parking lot. So there wouldn't necessarily need to be a crossing right there. Because um, technically you're not really on a street. So they don't put them on those. So. We would have them here. 
I think I'm just going to put them on one side though. Uh, even though technically really nobody should be walking over here, but who knows? Um, maybe they're coming all the way down this avenue. Who knows? Um, so uh, we'll, we'll put it there. Um, so what we're thinking, uh, we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of this concrete. All right, that looks pretty good. So what I'm thinking here is um, maybe we'll do some grass here. Um, or maybe not. Yeah, I don't know if that really makes any sense to just have one strip of grass running with the concrete behind it. Well, I guess you could have... Yeah, bear with me a second here. This might kind of make sense. And then maybe, um, no, we'll do other. So what I'm thinking is we'll have, obviously there's a sidewalk on the road side here. I'm thinking maybe there'll be a sidewalk on this inner side here um, that where people would walk. Maybe there's some benches through here. Um, maybe we can even put a uh, small flower bed or something like that, or one of those curved pieces. Um, I think that would be too big for the, or too small for the large area. But, um, or excuse me, too small of an area for the large flower bed, the large rectangle. Uh, well, maybe not. No, that works perfectly, actually. We want to be, uh, Actually, yeah, I think uh, it's going to make it real close to that, but then I change the line. I'm thinking maybe that. Maybe that. bit of, uh, Yeah, that works perfectly. And then obviously we'll do uh, some trees here. I'm thinking something um, kind of, not really tall, but yeah, like this, where the, the branches are uh, higher up. And for some reason when you use these line tools, now you have to double click on it again. So you have an item picked. Yeah, you have to double click on it again. So I'm thinking I don't want too far 
We're too close to the edge there because it oh, I feel the traffic's fission. So I'm thinking uh, do that. And then maybe uh, yeah, this might be too too big for this area here. Yeah. So I thought so we'll do this here. This here. And then, uh, if these flowers might be too big, no, they're perfect. Decide which trees I want. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe a small one there and there. And then we get the larger one right here. Right over there. Yeah. And then put some benches and stuff in there. I think that looks really good. Um, decorates it out quite nicely. Alright, preview for the next um, video here. Um, well, let me go ahead and uh, let's do this area here real fast. Uh, I'm thinking. Like that. Because I'm thinking this would be like an employee lot, maybe. Um, wouldn't be used um, by uh, the general population. Um, but what uh, what I'm building here, uh, uh, it, it is a underground parking structure, and uh, people pull in here and then drive under, and then the underground parking is here. And I'm not actually. I'm going to kind of go over how you could probably do that. If you were playing the game and you wanted that to actually be parking, um, I'm just gonna kind of kind of paint it on the surface, make it look like it's underground parking and everything. But I'll kind of go over because I've done it before in one of my other cities that one wasn't. Uh, uh, I didn't uh, create a video for that one. That was before I started doing videos. So I did uh, create one using uh, procedural objects and. Uh, uh, parking garages and stuff like that. I did create one now, how you could do it. Um, and it's kind of interesting, uh, but I'll, I'll kind of run over it and show it, show it and see how, you know, how to do that the, the next time here, the next video. Maybe pull those out just a little bit. And then I'm thinking this would be kind of like a uh, little park in here, a little uh, resting area. Um, just put a couple trees in here. Uh, nothing real. Then I think I'm going to go ahead and decorate the top of this. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this yet. Because uh, I'm not quite sure what all these shades of yellow and green. I assume this is like... See, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Whether that's supposed to be vegetation up there. And there, that's just it's supposed to be vegetation from like an altitude. Uh, but see, it kind of fades. So I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. 
um, whether it's supposed to be some sort of future futuristic solar panels or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, so I may just leave it. Maybe it's just supposed to be art, um, and that's just art. But I think we'll leave it like that. All right. Well, uh, real quick here, uh, just going to show you some of the buildings that we're going to place over. Uh, well, we're at an hour and ten minutes. This is quite long, but uh, we'll just place them real quick just to show you what we're going to do here. Uh, okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab... Um, one of these. I'm going to do this real quick. It's not going to be pretty. I'm going to do this real quick, but... I'm going to grab this right here. Pull that right up into that little area there. I do need the space a little bit better, but uh, I think that looks perfect like that. Looks like that was designed like that. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to use this building here, which is from Atlanta, I believe. Um, yeah, it doesn't say. Uh, there's the name of it right there. Um, but I believe it's from Atlanta. Um, Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and place this right here. And then um, this is the um, Tokyo Dome, which I believe was made for, or built for the Olympics, I believe. Uh, put in comments if you know that is incorrect, because I think it was Olympics. Although there is an Olympic stadium in Tokyo, but I believe this was also built for the Olympics. Um, but again, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so we're going to place this somewhere around, like right here maybe. Uh, still toying around with the design a little bit. I think maybe we're going to place it here, or may actually just place it uh, right like this. This is originally how, how, how I had it, because uh, that was the reason why the road looped around like that. But I think I came up with a uh, kind of a better deal, a better uh, way of doing it. Um, by placing it uh, over on the other side there a little bit more. But either way, th that's the next video here. And then we'll also go over uh, kind of a, an underground parking thing, uh, like the way you want to do it. Like right now, I just have the, uh, uh, the road connected. Um, and I'm probably just going to leave it that way. Um, just because, like I said, I'm just doing it for... Uh, the visual effect, but if you were actually wanting to build parking under there, we'll kind of go over that on how I did it on my other city. And it looked it looked pretty good. It, it really did. It looked uh, decent, and it did work. Um, uh, by using uh, oh, the uh, blocks, um, the residential uh, the blocks and the uh, 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 if I have any these things uh, by using these uh, uh, service blocks uh, like for commercial and uh, uh, residential and uh, I think commercial and residential is only used for that one for that particular thing but it, by using that it, it they worked uh, quite nicely and they were there was parking in them so uh, a little longer video thanks for sticking with me the whole thing um, Go ahead and uh, hit that like button if you have any comments or questions or uh, or anything. Feel free to leave that. Uh, I do read all the comments. I try to respond uh, in a uh, timely manner. And don't forget to uh, 
hit that like button and uh, hit the go hit the astronaut there uh, to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon for future videos and uh, we'll see you next time thank you have a good day